Hi, this is Eric. And in this video, I'm working on an NVIDIA 6600 GT graphics card. I'll show you how to identify and fix common graphics card and motherboard problem, namely bad capacitors. So I got this graphics card uh, from my father-in-law. He had pulled it from a machine. We actually found it in his things. Uh, I know it had been used for a while because these uh, cooling coils were really dirty. They're about a third covered up. But, but why did you pull it, right? So I started inspecting it and I found this guy. That capacitor's swollen. The top's starting to split. The sides are bulging a little. So I'm going to remove it and test it and hopefully fix this graphics card. got the capacitor out and tested it. It's reading 922 picofarads. That's one million times lower than it should be. It's definitely bad. New graphics card is installed. Going on. It's pretty exciting. I've never repaired a graphics card before. And, uh, eh, maybe I still haven't. I don't know. We'll find out. Nothing so far. Wow. Okay. Looks like we did it. <laughs> oh, what do you know? So while the screen is working, I'm not getting max resolutions. Computer is unable to identify anything about the, the graphics card I'm using, and I've got a bunch of resource conflicts, and that's that's fine. This is exactly what I expect because I have not installed the proper drivers for the GT. So um, it works though. That's a good thing. Fans running on the card, and what I need to do now is put this machine on the internet and download the latest drivers to it. So I installed some WLAN drivers for a Wi-Fi adapter and that reboot kicked something else into gear which hadn't happened before and that is installing some better drivers than what I previously had for the 6600 GT. I could tell immediately because my resolution is completely different and yet I haven't changed a thing. Let's see what's going on here. So I'm going to click the video control panel. We've got our end view properties. Okay, we can test our manager. And you know, why not? I'm running two screens. That's, that flickers because the second screen is a large CRT. So I hope this video has shown you that you too can fix an old graphics card. Maybe a motherboard. Uh, you do have to pick up some skills. You can see my blog for the tools required. Um, YouTube's got great videos much better than I can make for showing you how to do various soldering and desoldering techniques but you can do it that's the important thing and then you can create all kinds of uh, fun stuff fix up you know, vintage machines other electronics whatever you get your hands on just get out there and do it